Yeah. So I got. I sent you the invite link for Roll Twenty. Yeah, I know. Oh, I can't see it. They are a dragonborn fighter. God. Anyways, I'm live, by the way, so get your things out. Come on, my, my Discord is broken. Look. <laughs> nah, that's fine. I, I don't care. Get my notes pulled up before I start the music. It, it, it Catlin. <laughs> Because I can't spell my own name, apparently. <laughs> so true. The bungus. Oh. Hell yeah. As always, required. <laughs> Bungai? Yes, it's Bungai if it's plural. I is Discord crash. Oh, hi. <laughs> New person. New person. Um. Why can't I start an activity? Oh wait, there it is. That's that's Mr. Michael Sullivan. What <laughs> Michael Saul Goodman? Dad, what? <laughs> incident do I is it going through my what the fuck <laughs> no oh it's playing swamps like a tutorial Okay, I think I got it set up now. Yeah. <laughs> this is just Florida ambience, not even D&D swamp ambience. I'm oh I need to pull up my recap y'all y'all want to do your versions of recaps of what you remember and then we'll do like my recap yeah we need a recap because Mikey wasn't here for most of it so since we're gonna go in order uh, Vince what do you remember
There was a suspicious woman. Woman. Correct. Next cast. Yeah, I think he revealed to both Vince. T I think he revealed it to the entire party, like it to those who are like listening actively. Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, Vince, Vince, Vince and Diablo were able to piece together that 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 the person in a the flayed person in a tree that they you guys saw walking past to town uh, was definitely his dad. <laughs> Diablo, you're next on what you remember. I'm guessing you're just going to say pretty much what they said. <laughs> Sick. So, the map is loaded. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ding, ding. So, as you guys were gathering at the after the mayor had given a speech. That's one thing that you guys left out was um, a mayor had, you have walked in on a mayor giving a speech after talking to the traveling merchant. Uh, what's his name? Alder, at, Alderman, Al, he goes by Al. Um, so the traveling merchant, Al, he had talked to you about hiring you as guards. Um, you had been offered three gold per day to uh, for protection for traveling and he's making his way towards Silkmate Caves and also uh, to tag on to, to retcon it a little bit because I forgot to add this uh, in general the mining town of Marshville which is the main area that uh, sits outside of the cave Yes, Marshville. <laughs> the uh, and the mayor did point out cast as a. Hey, look! The capital didn't forget us. He's our savior. <laughs> so. <laughs> Very true. So you guys are going to start, are you going to travel with the traveling merchant? Or do you want to stay in town real quick for, to like go check out other things or talk to the mayor? 
Well, in the center of town where all the other, where the traveling merchant was, there's also other stalls filled with, like, food items, rations, other, like, just... <laughs> oh, I forgot to give you, I forgot to tell you to add gold from uh, helping that guy out. Everybody, except for you, add um, five gold to your... Well, hold on, let me math. I believe, yes. Five gold per... Because he split up what he got paid for the shipment between all of you, and he kept, like, ten gold. He gave five gold to the rest of you. You have five schmackaroos. Clanker with the hard R. <laughs> yeah, no, we can we can use Clanker as a So I'm guessing you're gonna go stall to stall to look for rations or like just pick up random th things. Yeah. Then I would have you, yeah, I would have you roll Arcana. Uh, there's a vague sense of like magic, but uh, nothing specific of like that person's a spellcaster. Just like there's somebody. Roll me perception. Uh, you spot her, and she spots you. <laughs> uh, the crowd starts to disperse, and you both stand there staring at each other. She's just gonna start slowly like backing away and then turn and like book it towards the uh, tavern. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming the rest of the group just went to uh, go shop for provisions. Let me turn up Luke way more. Yes. And as you guys finish up conversation, uh, Al is going to come up between the two of you, like, hook shoulders and be like, Okay, we are going to leave around noon. Uh, try to meet at the town center again around that time. Get your provisions, get everything ready by then.
Oh, you're wondering if you can get infected. Okay. Okay. Uh, while I look for stuff to tell you about, uh, yeah, everybody shopping time. So. You see various, you'd see a butcher's vendor like stand, a uh, person with like vegetables, like st standard like marketplace items of like a butcher, the local farmer, um, things of that nature. Well, then you see a, you see a tent. You see a uh, closed off tent in the uh, center near just like off on its own and you cast and uh, Diablo would notice a very strong magical sense coming from that tent also if you want like 10 days of provisions uh, that would be like 50 silver so just four yeah 50 silver or not 50 silver that would be 5 silver it, half a gold 5 silver yeah <laughs> you'll join soon you'll join soon Does uh, Mira join with them, and does uh, Nock join with them as well? Mr. Sullivan! Okay. So, as you guys enter the tent... Uh, who was at the one-shot with me? It was Vince and Luke, right? You, were, you guys were at the one-shot? Not the, not the uh, Prisoner 13 one, the like, original one that we had with Haley. So, as you enter, you have this strange sense of familiarity with him. Uh, a, a man with a gr big gray, like long hair, long gray hair, scraggly beard, and this huge bag. As he's loading stuff up, but you see like various uh, items strewn across tables. The tent's way bigger on the inside than what you saw. This tiny little like teepee. On the inside of this, it is a gigantic, like, un unnaturally large tent with a large couch in the far corner. Ah, friends! I recognize... Do I recognize you? There's many like you. Anyways, welcome to my tent! And as you can... As you look around, I want everybody to roll a D100. Now, I'm going to give you the choice. Do you want a silly list or do you want the serious list? You want the serious list? All right. I'll give Mikey, I'll give you your item off the serious list. The rest will get theirs off or not off serious off the silly list. The rest will get uh, the serious. Uh, for Mira counting.
you see a frost giant sword. No, uh, Mira. Mira sees a frost giant sword. Uh, then Diablo will see a blunderbust. And then Cast will see a holy hammer. Well, our boy Nock will see. Oh, what did he get? You got a 18. <clears throat> you found a quarter staff of mayo. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's your standard quarter staff, but it. You like how uh, the alchemist jug lets you pour how much mayo? Like a gallon or something like that? It lets you shoot it out in like in like an inch like an inch in diameter stream. <laughs> yeah. It shoots it shoots hot mayo. You see these around the room. You can ask him about them specifically. Like that's what I what I do for this list is I have you guys roll and then those are the items that you see and that like most likely pique your interest instead of reading the 300 item list I have. <laughs> so He, as he hobbles over with his gigantic backpack, he, he's like, ah, I see you eyeing the Staff of Mail. Very, very nice weapon. You want it? I can negotiate since of your enthusiasm. I also notice a slight amount of gold in your pockets. If you hand me that bottle of liquor and maybe sweet talk of it I might behave or negotiate a deal I want you to roll persuasion and you will lose your handle of liquor if you want to have the staff of mayo mm. you drive a hard bargain I will give it to you for four gold You know, I have yet to have one of those in my collection. I'll take those along with the four gold, and you may have call it a deal. Yes, you have five gold. Four gold, fifty, or five silver, if you got food. All right, thank you, my friend. Uh, here you are. And I'm going to add that to your inventory real quick. <laughs> uh, does anybody else want to eye up their items? And <laughs> as you walk over to this Diablo, you wouldn't know what it is. Mira, you would recognize as some sort of... Because black powder does exist in my world. Like, very rudimentary black powder weapons. Uh, Mira, you would recognize this as, like, a black powder weapon. Like, you would know, like, it does shoot things, but you wouldn't know it's a blunderbuss specifically. Um, ah, my friend, have you noticed this fine, fine firearm? It's... It's got quite the kick, you can, but you can load anything in it. I mean, quite literally anything. As long as you have black powder, it can, it can shoot, it, shoot almost anything out of it. Ah, you've, you have yet to know these. Uh, they are quite rare. Uh, you take this black powder that, when sparked, it explodes and sense of the, how strong this item is or how strong the chamber is, it just 
ejects whatever you stuff into the end of the barrel just at high speeds it does it does ludicrous amounts of things to a to a person <laughs> sorry I'm you would like to purchase this well that would be 50 gold my friend these aren't easy to come by. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, my dear friend. Well, if you do come across any magical items, I, I can definitely buy them from you. Of course, of course. Sorry, adding. Oh, my big robot friend! I know many of you. You would enjoy this hammer greatly. <laughs> he says as he's holding up a silver great war hammer. As and like. You wouldn't expect him to easily pick this thing up because it does look like he would just topple over. He lifts this with one hand like it weighs nothing. <laughs> this, this, my friend. This, ah, oh, yes, the war, many wars. That's <laughs> their war. <laughs> yes. The, it's like it's like the uh, Afghan war where it's it's technically a peacekeeping mission <laughs> it's just yup <laughs> but no how there's like many like different like missions I guess you can call them what what were they called but operations yeah th like many different operations they, they aren't called that in the world they're called like they're called crusades. They're just crusades. <laughs> yeah, the incursions is way better. Yeah. Okay, Mikey, just a heads up for the Staff of Mayo. You would roll 1d6, and it would deal that much amount in fire damage. Which isn't bad. Yeah, it comes. It's a, it's a hot stream of mayo. <laughs> you do have to yell Staff of Mayo whenever you use it though. That is that is real. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, no, it's constantly covered in like this the grease that Mayo leaves behind whenever you like put it on anything. <laughs> you know the exact texture I'm talking about too. <laughs> okay and as he's like showing you off this uh as he's showing you off this uh warhammer he goes and this beauty will be yours for 20 gold i travel around i probably will you will see my tent somewhere I'll find you. <laughs> and he, as he says he'll find you, he'll pat you on the back. <laughs> uh, and yes, you may hold it. And as he hands it to you, do you like grab it with both hands or just one hand? You just, you go, Ooh, and like reach forward a little bit when you, when he, he like lets go of it. It's going to weigh 15 pounds. <laughs> Cause, cause it's a giant like, it's not like a normal warhammer where it's what you would expect as a warhammer. It's like twice the size at the end. So you are like 
it's full momentum and it's silver. It's like it's silvered. So, you know, you know how silver weapons work. But um. There she is. And Vince, what I say you get? Nathan, I'm streaming. I need you to leave. I'm, I'm streaming D&D. &D. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you message him and say I'm sorry? All right, so. <laughs> Vince, what did I say that I found for you? Frost Giant Sword? Okay. Uh, as... It's, it's like a normal, like, claymore, but it's covered in this... This ice, like, permanent black ice. And, uh... No. You look at it, you scratch your... Like, you rub your head and you go... <laughs> oh, no. You good, Will? <gasps> oh my god, Bobby. <laughs> Anyways. The the old man is gonna, like, start approaching you, see you, like, rub your head and just go, Another time, my friend, another time. <laughs> yeah, you both nod to each other in understanding. And uh, do you leave? You guys now leave the tent, satisfied with looking at your wares. Okay, who bought food? Okay, I need you guys to take five silver out, and then add ten rations. He, he's waving from deep inside the tent and as you're walking like towards the thing it's just stretching like the space between like where he's waving like it seems like the walls are just moving back but the tent isn't like growing or like from the outside the tent is not growing like and uh as the doors like close and as you all like kind of turn around to like talk to each other or like just look elsewhere and you if you turn back the tent's no longer there Um, as, as you guys are finishing up, you're, like, staring at each other and conversating, uh, our man Al runs, is walking by with a pack from in his cart, he goes, are you ready? It's noon. The t <laughs> All right. And as you guys are walking and reaching eventually a crossroad where you can see a sign that says walk and it's pointing one direction. It says Marshville, it's pointing another. And then Faceman and it's pointing back towards town. You see a uh, roll me perception and
Dirty 20. <laughs> so as you guys uh, well, like kind of stop and uh look at this per this person does have a slight hood on the wind blows it off and it reveals a knight a direct a person donned in knight armor and they appear to be a lizard person but not one of like lizard folk that you that cast would know of for him, their hit, their learning of uh, what they would c concern as heretics. Uh, Mira would not know at all who this is, and I believe Diablo would not either. Uh, you would recognize, oh, that's knight's armor. You wouldn't know the decree. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't have recognized. Oh, that's a lizard person. You would just be like. What the fuck is that thing? Yeah, you would recognize that's humanoid. I hope it's friendly. And it's 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 holding this piece of paper that you would that's the size of a map. And as you guys get closer, uh, Diablo and Mira, you would recognize it, and you would see just it says map. It's just a piece of paper that says map. It seems, uh, since you did get a nat 20, it does seem to be just like, it was torn off a bigger map. Like one that you would see in a town. Like they just saw the word map and just ripped it off. <laughs> yes. And as, as you are talking to Arvis, Arvis, you would recognize that the man they are traveling with is upon one of the wanted boards you have seen while well, kind of wandering town to town. Arvis just points at him. <laughs> <laughs> just points. Uh, Al. Uh, I want you to roll a history check. D I don't know how to roll. roll Help me. Go to... Come on, D&D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Broken! How to roll. S sign in real quick. Did you sign it with your Twitch? Or your... Wow. 
<laughs> I know. I think you signed in with your Twitch one. Because you're you were really excited about using your Twitch to sign in. Oh shit! I don't I don't have my Twitch login. I can pull up your character sheet if you want. What? Do you want me to pull up your character sheet for you? Fifteen, you would recognize him, and you would know that he is wanted for smuggling, along with uh, affiliation with a ba local bandit, uh, like I guess tribe so or gang. <laughs> points. He just goes bandit. Wanted. Uh, what? No. Uh. Uh. Bandit. And he's gonna start running. <laughs> Hey, what's the rules for uh, chasing again? <laughs> yeah, he, he, the guy booked it when, uh, because he sees this dragon, he recognizes it as a dragonborn and sees one in night armor and just, it go, bandit, and just starts sprinting after him. Yes. Seven. <laughs> At this. Well, we got he got knocked prone from a uh, from Tasha's hideous laughter. Yeah. So as you uh, as you are running after him, he trips and starts cackling after. Uh, as you wouldn't know them as Mira yet, but Mira had casted uh, Tasha's hideous laughter on him, and dog pile on top of him. Just ah, I got. <laughs> Arvis has yet to travel to Faceman. Faceman is the town that you just came from, and uh, Facemun. F A Fackman? Yeah, Faceman. F A C M O N D. Faceman. Fackman. Faceman. I've been saying Faceman the whole time. <laughs> So, I have you guys on the big map, right? Yes. Okay. So, you are about up here at this point. And, um... Where am I coming from? So, the crossing that you were at was over here. And you had ran up that way. I know the proportions for, like, distance isn't right, but, like, it wasn't that far. Yeah, you get the general idea. <laughs> so, as I want you, I'm going to roll you strength because, or I'm going to have you roll strength. Because you, yeah. 
Yeah, you have him grappled, Kurt. I'm gonna give you advantage considering you are dogpiled on top of him and you are wearing knight's armor. I'm heavy. Yeah, you are quite quite chunky at the moment. Okay. Roll. A five. Ten. Hand it's here. Oh yeah, roll again, because you have advantage. So 16 versus 12. So yeah, you have him pinned down, grappled, and he's, he's like, Let go of me! Let go of me! You will get nothing out of me. <laughs> it's just. Where's 500 well. gold? Give me. 500. City that way. She points in the opposite direction. Where you're coming. Thing is, I that's the actual it. bounty too. I didn't even tell them that. They just assumed and that's right. <laughs> and as. I don't have my gold on me. Uh, roll me a roll a hit. <laughs> yeah, that definitely hits. He's he's not armored, and he, he's just a commoner. He has the stat block of a commoner. <laughs> Why did you kick me? <laughs> and as you as you as he's flailing about uh he's he tires himself out and he's now just laying flat while Arvis is just still dogpiled on top of him. Try getting your Twitch login off your uh, phone. What? Try getting your Twitch login off your phone. I'm sorry? She pointed into the direction. So there was another sign I forgot to add on to that. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> uh, it happens. Where's my tones? <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers. I'm out again. <laughs> you guys found my running joke already. Our little tent man is my running joke. Yes, his name is Gerald. I fucking love your. <laughs> okay. T he does twitch. Vince does just fucking... It's great, I fucking love it. Where, where is my towns and stuff? Yeah, which is... Uh, there was another sign that said Elshire. <laughs> that, that is, that is where, uh, Arvis has also pointed the direction into. So, what, what would you like to, what would you guys like to do with this man as Arvis is on top of him, probably crushing his ribs at this point. Like... <laughs> Did 
Could you get one bit to the thing? Okay. Huh? Don't no, don't no 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 I I will I can get you into the the bandit the Marshall is controlled by bandits. I can make sure that you're safe when you get there. There that we do have things stashed away. It's gonna roll. <laughs> I want everybody to roll I want everybody to roll insight. You all recognize that he is lying. <laughs> I that dress. He rolled a two. Rolled a hit. Yes. Roll damage. Roll damage. Roll damage. Okay. <laughs> I know you want this to be non-lethal, but you are a giant fucking death bot that is just about to lay a haymaker on this man. As you go to knock him out, uh, you, <laughs> you accidentally put a bit too much power and just his whole, like, like a cartoon, his whole front part of his face just goes <laughs> and caves in. Yeah, y'all have been all together. <laughs> Chuck, I want you to roll me medicine. Yeah, you're like you're like crouched down, like <laughs> even though you are like really short because you are a dwarf, uh, you're like kneeling down. You're kind of like looking at his face, and through your drunken stupor, you just kind of shove this small bit of gray matter that's poking out back in, and you go, "All good." <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, you're like, <laughs> you're kicking your feet and, <laughs> yes, you can, <laughs> this man is still dead, but Jock thinks he's revived and perfectly fine. Uh <laughs> What is what is Diablo thinking during all this? <laughs> I I want are you having a panic attack or are you just rolling around? I want you to roll me a, uh, roll me a charisma save. <laughs> okay, he doesn't weigh that much, you're, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, Jacques's fine. <laughs> he, he's not, he's calmed down from his panic attack. Yeah, he was having a panic attack, so I made him have a charisma save. <laughs> Uh, you can loot the cart. 
do you want to just make you find uh roll me perception uh you find a half empty beer bottle uh, uh does everybody want to like loot the cart or do they want to take it to Marshville where they know that bandits are You find you find three more days worth of rations you find another water skin uh, you also find 25 gold so as Arvis is kind of lurched over the cart and like just shoving things into the bag uh, a patrol from Faceman kind of walks by, and it's just like, uh, everything all right over there? Yes. Uh, okay. Arvis wins. The, the, I feel like Arvis is, is Arvis, like, standing on the cart now? Yes. <laughs> I, Ar, they see Ar, they see this dragonborn in knight's armor standing on a cart, and they go, uh, Okay, um, have a good one. <laughs> you also find... No, you, fa you found everything that you could with... Bruh. <laughs> We've been telling Vince that you... <laughs> okay, I want... Who is looting the cart and who is leaving it alone? I'm okay. So you already got the things you could. You just leave the cart there? Would you like to rummage through it one more time before you leave? Okay. All right. As you guys kind of walk up, do you join them? Like, do you start just no, following them? I'm just going to start following them. <laughs> uh, go with. The body's in the cart. <laughs> There's a man with a caved in skull and a half looted cart. <laughs> You want to carry a dead body. Well, oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> but will I so, find a new map? Okay. Oof. I want everybody to roll me investigation, and I want... And I want you to roll history again. I want everybody to roll, like, investigation, and I want everybody, and they're rolling history. You will remember that you came from the town of Elshire, and that is where you saw, like, that's where you remember the bounty board being. <laughs> uh...
you realize uh, Arvis is starting to walk into the direction of the sign that said Elshire. And the rest of you are assuming that they are carrying the body for the reward. Like, that's obvious. All right. Do you like pull out your knights decree and like hold I, it up I to him? Rip out my decree and I'm shoving it in their face. Like knights, no lie. Sure? Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me pull up their uh their thing because I did write like an actual like somewhat of an actual decree. Fighter. Right. Like they're in, they're just a straight up knight. You'll, it would, it's a basic knight's decree declaring that they their loyalty is towards a you assume person of named of Lord Aldro Aldro U L D R O Aldro. Cast and Mira, I want you guys to roll history. <laughs> uh, as you're reading over the Knights Decree while it's being shoved into your face, uh, you recognize the name Odro, but you you're like. Wait, that's that's not right. That's the name of a dragon. <laughs> and that thing was like you recognize that's the name of a dragon that was slain years ago. But this is like a recent decree. Like it has a date. Uh You wouldn't actually what would I have you roll to recognize like what day it is? <laughs> Yeah, rolled nature. Uh, Mira, you would recognize like that's that's a month ago. Not dead. No. Uh, it's supposedly killed by some legendary knight. Like, this is centuries ago that it was supposed to be dead. No. In cave. In cave. Far away. From what you can tell and from what Arvis is telling you, this is a recent decree. And it's it's requesting for like just various trinkets, gold, just to add to their hoard to be a f to be officially knighted as a knight of the flame. They're, they're 
temper they're knighted but they're not a part of the inner circle which is the knights of the flame like you know how there's the round table but there's already knights yeah it's knights of the flame is like inner circle you do what this guy says and if you go anywhere you are a force to be reckoned with <laughs> yeah They're trying to they're trying to rank up. <laughs> they're trying to get promoted. <laughs> so as I'm assuming you guys are talking while you go at normal pace for traveling. Okay. It's So you meet another crossroad one p with a sign pointing towards walk and as you look over into that direction you see by the vast like would it be a delta yeah a vast delta with a uh, town like a huge huge town and then you also can see in the very very far distance what looks like a military outpost and you would assume that that is uh, Elshire And as you are walking, yeah, as you are marching, and as you are carrying this dead merchant, uh, a couple bandits, because uh, there is, like, a small, like, canopy of trees, a couple, two, no, three bandits pop out and go, you have a merchant! <laughs> I want everybody to roll initiative. You got a dirty 20 because you have a plus seven to it. Oh. They took a leap or alert. Five. Nine. Okay. All right. Let me get some combat music going. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the roleplay more, because that's what a lot of my uh, my stuff is going to be currently. Yeah, they also have a six intelligence and eight wisdom, so it's just fitting. <laughs> I told them they could reroll. No, I let them know very blankly that they could reroll, and they said no. They literally have lizard brain. You guys matched your roles like three times. <laughs> like for initiative. Mikey, I need your roll initiative. We're fighting. All good. Okay. Knock is pass out drunk. <laughs> okay. Sick. Thank you. Hmm. 
<laughs> everybody back, everybody ready for combat? All right. Arvis, you are going first. Gonna breathe fire. <laughs> So you have one on your right, one, and two on your left. So which ones would you like to? I'm going left. All right. <laughs> oh, the, those meets beats for, are we doing, what, did we do meets beats for saves or both? Okay. Okay. Roll this twice and tell me, like, what it. Roll this twice and add, tell me what it adds up to. Seven. As you run up to um to get into the range, uh, <laughs> as you breathe fire onto them, they start to scream and like smack it off. They're very scorched, but they're not down. They're still very much fighting. And then next is Diablo. Uh, you're about 20 feet. Uh, no, because because they haven't moved like they Okay, roll me damage. How do you want to do it? How do you, How do you want to do it? Were they just like evaporated? As, as you do this and you like just start waving your hands and then a blast comes from your fingers as it and this man turns to red mist and chunks rain down upon all of you I'm going to roll <laughs> hold on I need a roll for trauma <laughs> Yeah, no, because because what I do is like sometimes people forget these are still people. If they see somebody just get vaporized, they're going to be fucking scared. <laughs> uh, you, you frighten both the bandits. <laughs> There's two bandits alive that are very like scorched. Yes. I do rules as written. <laughs> uh, next is one of the bandits, because I ha I had I had the bandits in between the two of you, so it goes Diablo bandit cast. Um, he, the one that's like still slapping off the fire, uh, looks towards um. Arbus, because they are the closest, and just kind of half-hazardly like throws their dagger at them. And <clears throat> it crits. Ow. It does four damage. So you now have a dagger just like 
it pierced your plate or it didn't pierce your plate armor but it did get into like one of the like crevices that was like there and you take four damage Uh, next is cast. Uh, he's 20... F they all were 20 feet away from you. Where is the key keyword as one was just vaporized and it's now everywhere. A giant robot doing a JoJo walk just... Roll me my damage. It's gonna kill them, I can tell you this. Uh, how, how does your inflict wounds like up here? Drop. Uh, as this happens, um, the, the other bandit, yes, it's, I'm d doing this slightly out of turn. Uh, the bandit is gonna, the um, bandit next to, uh, the other one looks over as their friend just crumples, like, d seemingly almost sapped of life as they're fully dead. Yeah, they just full ragdoll just fall to the ground. They saw their other friend vaporize. The other one is gonna start running. Uh, Mira, it's gonna up. It's gonna be your turn now. It also provokes opportunity attack. S except it's not in. It's cast. It promotes opportunity attack. Um, Mira, it is your turn though. Um, you can, no, you can definitely stop it. All right. He got a nine. You got him. He, he's like, ah, ah, no, let me go. Let me go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's, he is cowering. Feel rush, rush of warmth, and the dagger slowly just kind of pushes itself out. <laughs> so you're just gonna pommel strike him. That don't win. As you, as you kind of, he's thrashing around, and you just kind of accidentally like bunk. Uh, cast. <laughs> uh, it is back to Arvis. Currently, Cast is grappling the other guy. He is restrained. Do you want to take him as a prisoner? Do you want to kill him? <laughs>
Roll me a hit. Nat, that's a nat. I'm I'm giving them my dice and then adding their modifier after. Uh, t you said you wanted to use your great sword to kind of like pommel strike them. Roll this four times and early. I can just roll the crit damage if you want. Uh, I'm. <laughs> I'm doing it like through D&D uh, &D Beyond. This, she has a great sword. <laughs> uh, as you bonk them, they're definitely concussed. They're definitely d knocked out. They are out cold straight. Yeah, no, it's full ragdoll, like, knockout, not just, like, uh. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, as you, like, tilt your head forward, like, the, the breath is definitely staggered, but, like, your lenses get fogged. Remember, this man was scorched and then bonked in the fucking head by a great sword. <laughs> it's it's just the smell of burnt leather. Yeah, there's there's the smell of a a viscerated man and scorched skin. They've moved on past actual, like, our racism to, like, just act. <laughs> they have. They have the technical actual racism because of, there are different races. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Mira would know that there's definitely a uh, prejudice against tieflings. Uh, what is what is everybody's race? You you guys are pretty diverse, actually. Warforged. There, I already gave you your rundown of like what warforged are. Genasi, since they are, they're fey, right? Genasi are fey. I'm checking real quick. Basically, uh, you're kind of Genasi are kind of seen as heretics, but if they quote unquote repent, uh, they can be fine through uh, whatever like the main church is. Dwarfs are same, get treated the same as uh, humans because they are just short. They just get made fun of because they're short. Dragonborns, because they are so rare, uh, not a lot of like prejudice against them. Because it's kind of hard to be prejudiced against something that you barely ever see. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> no stealth. They're just curious. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because she's gold. Yeah, give a quick uh, dis like visual description of your character. Yeah, they're a gold dragonborn. So now that you guys are carrying two bodies, uh, you will be moving up the speed of slow. It will take you an extra hour to uh, get to Eyes Elshire. He is not waking up anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, everybody, you guys are out of combat. You're able to. Oh, I should I should preface with uh, Diablo having you vaporize the uh, previous man. Only his, like, body was vaporized. His gear, like, was stood there for a second, then just fell. Yeah. Yeah. So, very much like a cartoon, it just stood there for a second, then collapsed. Yeah, he had he had twenty silver. He had a scimitar and a white crossbow, along with studded leather armor. Uh, he had a dagger. It's now an Arvis possession. Um, he's currently wearing just normal leather armor. And he also has a scimitar on his hip. All right. Yeah. The not the knocked out guy. The uh, vaporized guy had a white crossbow. <laughs> average, average Friday night. <laughs> so everybody done looting and everything as you guys are approaching the uh, this what you would it's a city sized outpost uh, two paladins of the church of the blinding sun approach you and halt just yell, Halt! Who are you? What are you doing here? The, the uh, paladins are going to cover their eyes for a second and then just nod and go, Very well! And uh, just wave you on. The... The paladins are very much uh, s staring down uh, m basically everybody except for except for uh, cast. Yeah, they are very much like ex yeah, they are they are glaring. They are making sure you do not do anything <laughs> that would be like threatening. <laughs> Yes. Cass, yeah, Cass, you would instantly recognize the symbols upon their uh, armor. Uh, 
Yes. Do I have a map for Elshire? in the discord I do not have a map of Elshire what the f oh wait yeah I remember why because it's just a fucking small town it's easy to steer and mine it yeah it's really not but as you guys enter Elshire you s do notice there's uh, quite a few adventure types wandering around there's a bounty board there's also a There's also a large map with a where you would see a it says of <laughs> hold on I'm trying to remember of Grat Brad and there's just a tear mark at, of the before of map <laughs> and it's. And it's the, it's the big map that I've been showing y'all. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> I just imagine you don't even give it back. You just drop. <laughs> Take it. There is, as uh, you guys are kind of just standing in town and uh, Arvis is holding the merchant, a couple of the ventures as they walk by go, damn it, they, they got them before me. Like they're just, like you can hear like, uh, God damn it, not, they did it again. And um, <laughs> the main like feature that the main feature you guys notice of this town besides like the very small tents of like soldiers and everything of that that sort is a uh, decently sized like building that looks like some sort of office the, where the bounty board is outside of Most of most of the guard, uh, there's four paladins just kind of roaming around as guards, but then there's also just standard like soldier types, and um, standard just adventurers. Pa regular mercs and uh, the occasional soldier that kind of like gets told off for a uh, slouching or something from the paladins. As you as you are standing outside the office, a paladin does walk out and then pauses, holds open the door as it stands like at attention, and like it it's holding a huge like glowing spear. Like the spear has like a little cutout like before this staff part of it where it has like a glowing light. But yeah, he's just kind of standing there waiting for you to enter as you are just kind of standing right next to the door. <laughs> Go ahead. 
he, you, you can definitely tell, like, despite him being a paladin and the, from your knowledge, them being the most determined and like, you know, well, what's the word? It's a, it's the military term where bearing, they have very good bearing. Uh, there's ranks within the paladins from what you can like there's same with like chevron I'm very much just stealing military shit for them that like there's a the more chevrons on the like sun they have encrusted on their plate armor the higher the rank this one is just like a very basic looking sun so he looks you would know he is very very new to uh, being a paladin he still has amazing bearing as he's not trembling and <laughs> basically <laughs> you could do that to him you could be like you could say he's missing an item and he would fucking believe you probably <laughs> but um do, are you just gonna walk towards it like walk towards the office as you Yes, you can enter the office. Yes. Get reward. He, he, he just nods. He walks away from the door. He can What's a, I, What's a word we can use for tieflings? <laughs> Cuz he kind of just sneers at a mirror as they walk by. Let's not call it a slur for TOS purposes. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a colloquial name for tieflings. Hornhead? Not necess- They're from the hells. <laughs> Hellspawn. Easy. Uh, yes, he he would sneer at both you and Mira as he walks by, and goes, "Fucking hell spawns." It's He's completely unbothered by it. <laughs> he he knows that you were the one to cast it. <laughs> uh, there is four paladins who are you would know as decently powerful people. Like, you could just tell by the looking at them. There is... Yeah, there's a bunch of different adventurers that... If they just see a random person get murdered, some will be like, okay, that's not my problem. And others will be like, what the fuck? Uh, that's new mount... Yeah, new bounty. Uh, and there's just various just basic foot soldiers. Yeah. It's, it's well guarded. It is... It is a very well guarded post. He, he just kind of waves you off as you guys enter the office. And as you enter the office, uh. <laughs> well, you. <laughs> his, friend, his roommate was playing a game in the background. You could hear it. Um. As. You enter the office, uh, there, it's a nice furnished area, it's got a giant cell in the back, along with a, 
a door out the back that says corpse disposal. <laughs> um Uh, the paladin will, the high-ranking paladin, oh, that's like in command. You, cast. You would recognize him as definitely some sort of commander, as he is. He has multiple like flourishes along with his um son on his chest, and he, the paladin just looks up from his paperwork, like his helmet is on the side of his desk, like it kind of just jumps up, and he he just looks up at uh, Arvis and goes. Well, thank you. Gold. <sighs> he, he heavy sigh, and he goes to the uh, desk. Like he he rummages around in the desk, and he goes, "Which one was it?" As he's as he's like going through files, name. Uh, the paladin finally takes in the rest. The the rest. The paladin finally takes in the rest of the party and he goes. There's always oh, fucking more of you. Uh, and he, then he walks up and he notices his cast and he goes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he places the gold onto the desk and he kind of just sits like quietly for a second as he realizes he just cursed at basically his version of an angel like yes there are celestial beings or there's actual angels but you are his version of an angel and he's just kind of just like yeah he is, yeah he is very much like Oh, I fucked up. I oh, I fucked up. I probably just cursed at the wrong thing. <laughs> he wipes his brow as he started visibly sweating. He goes, "Oh, thank, thanks, Zenith." Uh, and do you, I see you have another body? Do, who is just? Is that just some random bandits? Did you want to turn him in? We. Uh, toss him in the cell. I'll question him later. Here's ten gold for just turning in somebody. Yeah, he tossed it for to he tossed a ten to cast. The five hundred is still on the table. I want you to roll intelligence. <laughs> Eighteen, because you have a minus two. You manage to count them out, and you count out a hundred for yourself, or you count out a hundred and ten for yourself because you did. You were the original founder of the bounty. Can I just slide the I'm I'm a I'm assuming y'all just kind of carried knock with you. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Ninety-seven gold, five silver. Mm. 
all the trinkets. Mira, do you have long sleeves or short sleeves? Would it cover your forearm? All right, I want you. Okay, as. Did you like shove the body to the side or something? <laughs> yeah, he. The paladin is not going to address anybody besides Cass at this point, as they're they're done dealing with uh, the bounty. Uh, is that one yours? He's he's gesturing towards uh, Mira. I want you to, Mira. I want you to roll sleight of hand real quick. Yep. Because of the tattoo on their arm. He's going to adjust in his desk and he's going to like whisper to a uh, cast and he goes, you know, that's one that's cursed. Okay. Um, you notice that like the paladin is holding on to a silver dagger and he goes, I are you sure you want to keep him? He's going to loosen up and he goes, he just nods. Uh, Cast, I want you to roll intimidation. He's just gonna nod and sit back down at his desk and he goes, That is your choice, my dear angel. And then go back to doing paperwork. And when you're, when you guys go to drop off the uh, knocked out guy in the back, you, Cass would notice a warforged in the corner, but it's like embedded into the building. Like, no, it's alive. It's, it's just a still thing across a, there's a metal like table in front of it. And it's within one of the cages. Yep. It's it's whirling. You you can hear it whirling. Yeah, like it's making noise as it as it is like alive. Like it's it's very obviously alive and aware. Very. It's a very heavy armor clad one.
<laughs> and a, you know the dreadnought voice from Warhammer 40k. It's as it. <laughs> Who do I question? It's it does not appear to have sentience. It purely seems to be one of the mindless ones. You can ask. What do you do? Uh, where you would assume a foot is, it, it kind of just like pivots slightly towards you. And what do I roll for versus intimidation for a person? Okay. As it turns towards you, it has these tiny red lights for eyes that pierce into your soul. And it you feel a sense of dread just wash over you as you as you poke it. I am the interrogator. Who must I question? understood and it kind of like whirls back down and like sinks a little bit as it seems to be entering a like rest Hey Vince, I accidentally left the, uh, the activity, and so now you're host. Can you change it to uh, the cityscape? Thank you. Do large city. I'm having Vince in charge of music now. Money. <laughs> it 
and yeah yeah I know <laughs> yeah Yeah, it, it took a hot minute. Anyways, as you guys finish up talking and um, you know, you do hear hammering outside as a new bounty is being put up onto the board. Uh, you notice Good thing you mentioned that as you See like looking over the board. There is one big poster. That's been like kind of permanently like put there as like so nobody can take it of Arch Grand Duke Derg and it's it, the pic it's a picture of like a knoll and like this very distorted looking null though. Nulls are nulls aren't like how they are normally where it's, it's like hyenas turn the air hyenas turn into like things through magic, but they're like actual people. This one from I want you guys to roll insight. You can't. You're just like that's a thing. Uh, our, our, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Yeah. Uh, what did everybody else get? Let me look at the game log. Diablo. Diablo and Cast. You would definitely know that it has been affected by whatever magic is affecting the people that are that like got changed into those tentacle things that the tentacle thing that you saw. Uh, Mira, you would notice the same, but you definitely notice, like, since it is, like, a permanently in-placed, uh, like, you know, wanted poster, it's like, that's, that's a big player within the cult. And as you read on... Huh? But, um, yeah. Bro, isn't it? Well, you don't just join the. Uh, what's that thing? Okay. Off stream. <laughs> As you, there's also. There's also a. But yes, you also notice a poster for a uh, mysterious figure spotted in uh, the town of Walk, with, along with uh, people disappearing. And it's just like a poster from like the city's mayor, like, can somebody please come investigate this?
There is a tavern within town, by the way, or in this area. As you enter this tavern, it's quite small, but it's still quite busy. Uh, not a lot of pal- you don't see any paladins go near the place at all. So it's a bit, uh, there's more ruffians, per se. Yes. Which... Yeah, it's just a religious thing. It's not an oath thing. Yeah. Yeah. Vince, if you want, you can find new music. You f yeah, find some high fast tavern music. You are currently in the closed bell tower. That is the name of the tavern. Uh, there is a, ooh, let me pull up her description because I actually have a thing for her. You find a tall slender woman manning the bar. She's very, very friendly. And she, she doesn't seem to be of the religious type at all. Uh, I do want Cast and Diablo to roll me Arcana, though. Uh, Diablo, I want you to roll me a constitution save. And Cast, you will recognize that this is a very powerful magical being Diablo you get overwhelmed with the magical energy that is coming off of this woman but manage to stay stay it off and just kind of like oh. uh, no it's just for Will and Luke Uh, I'm thinking of like when I think of sp like this t what like spell casting in that way I think of like are bar in raw is are like bards bards are okay then yeah uh cause how Mira is like because bards do have like kind of a softer magic. They're not like a lot of battle magic. Uh, roll me, yes, roll me an arcana. But yeah, just roll me an arcana. You would also be able to pick up on, oh my god, this woman is what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, she's incredibly, uh, an incredibly powerful magic being. No, you're good. Uh, she's manning the bar, talking with people, and just serving drinks. She's going to walk over and go, what can I do for you, friend? I have many things that I can gl get you a glass of. What? Right up. That'll be a gold piece. <laughs> As she, like, goes to grab it, she stops. D does uh, Mira look younger? <laughs> she goes, race and age. Ah, uh, never mind. 
<laughs> the second you say tiefling, she just takes a gun and g runs back and grabs you a, an ale. But the ale is perfectly clear, and it's a strong smell. <laughs> it is a strong smell of alcohol. Uh, roll me a constitution save with advantage. In my, in my game, tieflings, dwarfs, and, um, and gnolls have, like, advantage on alcohol. <laughs> tieflings just burn the alcohol too fast. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna give Nock, like, Nock, you don't have to roll for drinking. <laughs> Nock is in a... Yeah. Uh, when you... When you swig it, you... Instantly are just like... Huh. Huh. <laughs> it's, it's... It's pure alcohol. It's the only thing that seemed to affect you. It seems to be the only thing that affects you tiefling, so... And you asked for something strong. Uh, many thanks, friend. Uh, as she's finishing up serving Amira, she kind of looks at Cast and just as narrows her eyes like, like she is not a fan of any re any religious person coming into her bar without question. Mm-hmm. She just, she just kind of nods and, like, just keeps tending to everybody else. Uh, who else is ordering a drink? Uh, sure thing, my friend. And she's gonna go to the back and she's going to bring back a the same sized uh, mug of ale. It does smell strong, but it doesn't quite smell as strong as uh, what's coming from Mira's glass. That would be 50, that would be five silver, my friend. And if you don't have the if you don't have silver, she will exchange the gold for the silver. All right, so I'll give you your change real quick. <laughs> if you're going to take another sip, I want you to roll me a, uh, another con. With advantage. You're perfectly fine. You you take another sip and you're like, all right, I'm used to this now. Fair. All good. Uh, we can end it off at this tavern, and then y'all can we will pick up next time. Uh, do you guys want to ask the barkeep if there's any rumors or anything before it goes? This is the soup. Which? All right, see him. See him, Mikey. Which uh, forest are you thinking of? The uh, the one that's off of. Near Facement or the one that's south of here? The one south of here, uh... A lot of people go there. Uh, a lot of hunting. But, um, recently, due to those creatures, those... We've... The followers of a pool. The, the, nobody's really gone there, uh... Some say that they hear uh, that they took over a village out out west. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, especially with your gear. Uh, wouldn't recommend going to them. Wouldn't recommend hunting down 
those. I'll at least get some gear first, or perhaps anything else. Go f do some bounties, get some money, buy some gear. There's plenty of towns nearby that will sell you plenty of good things. Diablo, did you order a drink? Uh, rushes out with an ale. I'll be a silver feast friend. Ooh, that's a, that's a loaded one there. Now what specifically? Well, there is the uh, main church up in the capital of Igra. Uh led by Chancellor. Chancellor is, oh, I would not want to mess with him. He is quite the, quite the force. Uh, sometimes he does invite uh, known adventurers, those to help those around. Uh, I've heard he's been recruiting enough for a small army to uh, try to battle uh, against the Grand Duke. I don't know if you've seen the poster on the board. Yes, the, uh, the church, it seems to be raging against the, uh, the cult, but mainly it's, it's been just forgetting the outlying towns. Mainly, I feel bad for Facemen. They, they've taken it the roughest as they are out in the marshes. Uh, uh, well, that's mighty kind of you, especially for being what you are. Uh, there's also walk. The, the, it seems that the uh, paladins that have been running, the, at least the group that has taken control over there, have gone on a power trip. The, They've sectioned off a big part of the city, and uh, most of it's in slums now. Maybe, maybe not. You know, we may never know. Of course, of course. And with that, do you guys want to end? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna walk in a second. <laughs> Anyways, thank you everybody for joining, for those who did join, for those who did follow. That was fun. Did you enjoy? Yes. Did you guys enjoy? All right, sick. He picked up a shift. L. <laughs>